Whew. Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Today is all about hair care. Today my hair is a bit more manageable than usual. Okay, honestly, how many of us actually pay attention to and pamper our hair? For me, honestly, if I devoted all my attention to my hair as much as I do with my face, I think my hair would look like silk by now. So today is a rare video, I thought I would do a hair care review of some of the products I've been using and what I think of them, do they actually make my hair look better? I think nowadays there's just so much more variety of what you can apply in your hair. Ta-da! Today I'm going to review 5 different hair care products and I think they just look so stunning. Look at the bottles. So the first item I've been using is a shampoo, the starting of all hair care. This is by Aromedica, the Purified Tea Tree Shampoo. Now, I have oily hair. Literally, my scalp is oily. Malaysia is humid. I sweat so much. And I thought I needed something a bit more refreshing and cooling. So I got the Tea Tree range. And this one, honestly, I thought was pretty good because it felt so minty. When I apply it, it's like a transparent gel. And it's different because it does not lather up as much as other shampoos. It doesn't have that foamy ingredient of sulfates, which is what I prefer. And as I lather it, I realized that I actually need a lot of shampoo because it's just not leathering up as much as I want to. Hence, I think I use quite a lot of this. Feeling-wise, I think it does help my head feel really fresh and minty because of the ingredients and also because it has peppermint, although it does smell a bit like toothpaste at one point. I like how my hair felt really free and lightweight from all the oil removed, but I don't think that mintiness stayed on for a long while. It just kind of lasted temporarily for a few minutes and then my hair was back to feeling the same. So this one I think is a pretty decent shampoo but it's not as long lasting effect as I would prefer. Following up shampoo, usually you do a conditioner or hair mask or hair treatment. For me, I'm so lazy to stay in the shower for so long. So I only use a hair pack, or say hair mask maybe like once or twice a week. A hair treatment to me is much more intense and I can do it maybe once a week. Saves all my time. This is Minard, the intensive hair pack. And what's good is this one has hydrolyzed silk protein as well as a lot of amino acids. Is it 11 or 20? One of it. Again, I was really surprised because usually hair packs, they are rich, creamy like souffles. This one, when I applied it, it was transparent, like a gel. And it's quite thick. So I leather it up towards my ends and I just maybe leave it on for a few minutes, not too long. I hate staying in the shower as mentioned. And when I wash it off, wow. I think it did kind of make my hair feel a bit lustrous and shiny. Yeah, I actually liked the experience because it wasn't sticky, it wasn't heavy, my hair didn't feel like it was weighed down or oily. In essence, it's actually quite light and something I approve. Next off, we have hair essence. You just shower and did a hair mask now you have something to apply after your hair is dried. This is by Nineless, a new brand I think, totally new. I thought, why not I try it out? Look at that finishing, it's so gorgeous, like an amber stone. And this is a daily intense nourishing hair essence. Again, plant-based oils, which is meant to give all the nutrients to your hair. Sometimes I use this instead of conditioner. After I showered, I just apply it on my hair. Look at that texture. Again, transparent and it's really runny and thick at the same time. How does that happen? Oh, okay, what I love about this smell, jasmine, almost like a bonsai honeysuckle smell. It smells so good. And to me, it's a really nice walk in the park. So you can see there's a bit of shine. And I'm just going to smother my ends with it to make it all nice and moisturized. I try not to touch my scalp because that's going to just make it more oily. So avoid touching your scalp with all these nourishing products. Just sweep it all over. And if you longer hair, you might need a lot more. And I'm done. Check it out. Now there is a bit of shine here, which I really like. It's lustrous and it's not too heavy, which I really like because there are some hair essence I've used before or maybe like leave-in conditioners that are just so thick. It's almost slimy, in fact. This one smells amazing, smells great. Again, like honeysuckle. The only drawback is I think the bottle is too small, 150ml. You probably need two or three pumps per use, so this is definitely not enough. Please have a bigger bottle. Whew. All right, this is something that I think is really necessary for someone who likes to blow dry your hair like I do. Whenever I go out, I have to style my hair because it's so flat and I have to blow dry it upwards. And that in turn damages your hair because heat removes all the moisture from your hair and just damages it so badly. Not to mention if you use curling irons or like the hot plate irons to straighten your hair, imagine seeing your hair getting smoked and burned. Over here I have the mise en sens. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. Perfect Serum for Styling. The original is the orange one. This one, they cater it for heat protection. So you apply it before using any heat appliances. A lot of good plant-based ingredients here as usual. When you apply it, it's like a semi-thick transparent gel and the smell is really strong, like a strong rose peony fragrance that just wafts through the air. I think this is a really standard kind of fragrance for most hair products. And I coat throughout my hair, especially the ends and the inner corners. Apply evenly before blow drying my hair. And I feel that in a way, maybe it's like placebo, it does feel better because my hair doesn't feel that hot or burned. There is like a layer, almost like a balm, coating my hair that is preventing it from being heated up or burned. So that's what I really like. As for the style maintenance of the curls, I think this is quite subjective because my hair is not permed at the moment, so I can't really say for sure. So this one I've been using and I actually think I will continue to use this because I have to blow dry my hair for this appearance. Last but not least, I have here a little green elixir. This is the Aromatica Scalp Rosemary Root Enhancer. It really looks like it's a glowing potion of emerald. Personally, I do not suffer from hair fall or hair loss or hair thinning, which is really lucky for me, but it seems to run in my family line and it's something that kind of maybe worries me, not at the moment, but probably in the future. This one apparently is meant to strengthen your hair roots so that it's more resilient and less prone to hair fall. Main ingredients for this is being rosemary as well as having something called black food ingredients. I don't really know what's the relation with black food and how it helps your hair, but they seem to put it here. So it's like a little spray bottle, you just have to remove this uh, cover, just like that. And I'm gonna demonstrate it to you right now. Just spray it over your scalp. Whew, and instantly guys, it smells a bit like a mouthwash. <laughs> Crips and refreshing, almost like a lemony kind of berry scent. And now I just have to massage it around my scalp areas. To activate it, I think, this is one product which I feel is really vague because how do you tell whether this thing strengthens your roots or maybe those cameras that can zoom in to see your hair follicles but I guess, I assume it works. So this is something that I don't have any conclusive evidence. It also claims to relieve your hair itchiness or scalp itchiness and if you suffer from that, maybe this might be the secondary benefit. But for now, I really do not see any uh, main use for this and I don't think I will get this again because the results are not that prominent for me And there you have it for hair care of the day I don't know when I will do another hair care video, but I guess for now this will suffice For me, my favorites are these two the hair essence by Nineless and also the styling serum by Mise en Sense I think this is the one that will help me the most because it's really convenient and also helps to nourish my hair the most At the end of the day Taking care of your hair is actually really easy. You just have to spend a few more minutes per day to kind of maintain it and also to treat it. Make sure you don't overlook it because hair damage is not fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!